So you might be trying to figure out how you can connect your Xbox One controller to any Android tablet out there for the most part. Now luckily for you, this is a pretty basic process. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to make your way over to your settings application of your Android tablet. So here we can go and open up our settings just like this. And what we're going to want to do here is we want to go into connected devices. So click on connected devices, and then we want to click on blue. So sorry, we want to click on connections where your Bluetooth connections are, find out where they are, and then you want to go and make your way over to here. Now what you're going to want to do here is you want to go ahead and get into, make sure Bluetooth is on, and you want to go ahead and turn on your Xbox controller, and you want to hold down a few buttons. So for one, we're going to hold down the Xbox home button here, as well as the share button that's on the top left corner right here. So go ahead and hold down both of these buttons. And once you go ahead and do that, the light on the front will start blinking on the front of this controller. And when it starts rapidly blinking like this, all you're going to want to do is make your way back into your you know, Bluetooth settings here. And you should be able to see that this controller should pop up at the bottom. Now this controller is actually one of these two controllers, so I don't know which one it is. So I'll probably just tap onto this one and we'll see if it is the one. And if it's not, then we'll just skip it to the other one. So just in case, as you can see, I couldn't find it, it might be this one. So if it shows up at the bottom, all you're going to have to do is just go and click on it. And that's pretty much all you're going to have to do. Now you can see it's not coming up here. So that probably means I have to probably delete both of these. So I will go ahead and do that. And you can see right here, it does come up as wireless controller. So tap on the wireless controller. And it's funny as soon as I exit out of it. Okay, now it's coming up as Xbox wireless controller. So I can tap on it again. And you'll see a little pair button. All you want to do is click pair. And then that's all you're going to have to do. The controller will now be paired and that pretty much covers it up. You can now use this controller whichever way you want to as a emulator controller, whatever you want to do, you have that option too. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.